distinctive that cannot have much impact. They can be giving counter impact also. So that must have an engineering led by a driving force of spiritual strength, not only mere relations and instinctive balances. Then we are having five major groups of spiritual healing. One is ritualistic, second is uh, contemplative, and third thing is mediative, fourth thing is invocative, and fifth thing is mystic. Mystic healing is by the yoga process. Invocative healing is by prarthana. He is helpless. Oh God, I am also equally helpless. I am more helpless than him also. But just I think what I can do is, you are our helping source. I am Alpajna. You are Sarvajna. I am Alpashakta. You are Sarvashakta. And to do mistakes, both of us are shameless. I am shameless because I am repeating my mistakes. And you are shameless because you are forgive me again and again. So, this is the process of invocation by which we are not going to treat somebody. Let me be the source of energy. Let you be cured. Let you walk like Jesus Christ. If you cannot do, we can have the invocative methodology of healing. And the mediative methodology is taking the person to a compatibly competent authority or source of energy. That is known as a mediative healing. If somebody is going there to a normal physician, just he cannot say that you have to be operated. I can also do why you are wasting your time here and there. I can also do. He refers us to a specialist or a surgeon. Likewise, uh, referring to a hyper-compatible or a hypervalent authority is known as mediation. Then ritualistic is by Ayush Homa, Mrityanji Homa, other things. Contemplative is the transfer of one's own prowess, spiritual energy or strength which he has got by Upasana, Chakra Upasana, Sri Mahasudarshan Upasana, Dasima Upasana, Prana Upasana, lot of Upasana, hundreds of things are there, Shakta, Vaishnava and Shaiva Padatis, we have lot of contemplations. That is contemplative, invocative, mystic, ritualistic, that is by Puja, Aradhana, Havana, Tarpana, there are different types of uh, that rituals also. Puja, you know that uh, doing Puja with flowers and uh, doing Puja in the form of Havana, Agni Puja and Jala Puja in the form of Tarpana and other things, Argya and other things. So a lot of ritualistic, contemplative, invocative, mediative and mystic technologies are there. Likewise, self-healing process is also there. That is also a type of healing energy, self-healing, we can heal for ourselves. And uh, second thing is universal healing. Sarve jana sukino bhavantu. It is known as universal healing. Loka samastha sukino bhavantu. And there are two important types of healings which everybody must note down in their uh, brain recorder or in a tape recorder. In your, in your lithographic or neurographic records, they have to imprint it immediately that there are emergent systems of healing and gradual systems of healing. Healing for coma and healing for trauma. There are different types of healing that exist in the world. For example, if somebody is uh, getting, that depends upon the seriousness of a patient, whether he is in a semi-natal stage, pre-natal stage, or a natal fatal stage, or a pre-fatal stage, there are different types of a person. Just even before giving birth, it is pre-natal, and that is natal, and the post-natal stage is there in the stage of an infant, and uh, whether uh, he is uh, in the intensive care unit, critical care unit, oxygen dependent, ventilator dependent, depending upon the person's stage and emergency, we have to classify and we have to augment our energy release. And emergency healing may not be possible with all people because the RPM, that is known as the RPM variation. For example, disease has its own RPM. Disease has its own RPM. I will give you with a very small example. Disease has its own RPM and your energy has its own RPM. They must match together for efficacy. For example, if your person is affected with uh, cancer. Then for getting what is the purpose of a disease? It starts with inconvenience. Then it results in inefficacy. Then it becomes total inability and it results in demise. And it is a duty of a medicine to give convenience. Inconvenience, it must be supported by a medicine and it must be replaced by convenience. Inability by ability. Inefficacy by efficacy. Demise by cure and survival. And it is a work of the part and counterpart, that is the remedy and melody, they work together like this only. The purpose of the remedial measure is survival and salubrity. And the purpose of the melodial measure is at last, the destination is demise, death. For example, cancer that requires 30,000 units for putting the person into death, example. And if it is rot rotating with 10 RPM, 10 RPM per minute, 
3000 rpms if they rotate in 3000 minutes it will put the person in death and if you are medicine or if you are meditation or medication whatever it may be if it is having 0.1 rpm per minute before it could reach the destination the melodial unit it will win the race before the remedial unit could do that you understand if somebody is an emergency you cannot do the gradual healing process if the person is about to die in two days within two days more than that of the energy of death the energy of survival can you supply either instrumentally collectively or independently can we do independently i can do instrumentally uh, with uh, puja punaskara rituals etc collectively with 100 people together either we must sit and work together somebody is going to die probably in two days within two days whether we can independently contribute if the destination point and the destination uh, status of that uh, death is 20000 units for example can we provide independently instrumentally or collectively more than 20000 at least 20002 you have to give to win the, the race of a death and survival and to make your energy efficacious so emergent healing that requires separate techniques and gradual healing is somebody is having stomach ache let it take 10 or 12 days till that the person will be surviving and a small dosage and piecemeal methodology by which we can transmit the, that energy that can be imbibed to the person and he can win the race that is that so all these types of energy they must be studied separately and the exercises must be different that is a uh, intimate relative antagonistic anonymous ritualistic provocative uh, invocative then contemplative emergent self <coughs> gradual hundreds of such situations they must be separately studied and customized practices and exercises for each and everything must be started in the bioenergy research institute then the qualities of a healer and receptacle few points a healer must have a basic quality healing is an energy and you must be a proper receptacle i have already told you cannot bring a basket with the sahasrakshatva you cannot bring a sahasraksha basket the basket with thousand eyes to hold on milk likewise you must be a capable tool of retention and even if there is a capable tool of retention for example they used to say you must not you must not put milk in a copper glass and uh, you must not put some elements like a pickle and other thing in a silver utensil likewise there are uh, something in which uh, the conduciveness of the container and content must be there you must hold it and you must hold it pure and you must ever hold it and you must hold it for distribution all of these qualities must be there inside a container first quality for a healer is he must not think that he has energy yasya matam tasya matam matam yasya naveda saha avijnatam vijanatam vijnatam avijanatam those who say that they have understood god they have not understood and those who say that they have not understood and they cannot they have understood god so god is such a mysterious element which is understood for those who claim that they have not and not understood for those who have claimed that they have first to believe is they don't have any energy but they must believe in energy and whatever that they have they must attribute it to the source of energy the repository of energy so they must believe that i don't have energy at all so there are three things one is a carrier and second is a conveyor and third thing is a container for example there is honey in flower there is a honey in a beehive and there is honey in a dabber honey box what is the difference between these three things the flower possesses honey the bee hive that consists of honey and the bottle that contains honey and the honey bee that also carries honey and is also inside it that carries honey so that which possesses